Oh, good morning, everybody. So glad you can come and join us again. I hope you've had a really nice weekend. Right, just come and gather around and come and sit down and uh, we'll we'll see if Jack's ready to, to come out of come out of his box. You might want to give him a little bit of a shout again this morning. I think he might be quite sleepy. There he is. Come on, Jack, wake up. Out you come. Out you come. Here you go, look, all the boys and girls are waiting. Oh, look, he is a bit sleepy. Oh, do you, do you know what I think you need to do, Jack? I think you need to have a little bit of a stretch. That's what I always do when I'm feeling a bit tired, a little bit of a stretch. So if any of you guys there are feeling a little bit tired, why don't you have a stretch too? So shall we reach up high? That's it, stretch up high. What about a stretch out wide? Maybe have a, have a little wiggle, maybe. Oh, I know. See how fast you can clap your hands? See how fast you can clap your hands? I wonder who can clap them fastest. Oh, oh, you are definitely the fastest, and you. Very, very fast at clapping your hands. Okay, and do they look like they're all awake now? What about you, Jack? Are you wide awake now? Great. Right, so are we ready to sing our welcome song? Are we ready? Welcome everyone and say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Welcome everyone and say hello, we're glad you came. So how are you doing today, Jack? How do you think he's doing? Jack, you're looking a little bit sad. What's the matter? Are you a bit sad? Why are you a bit sad? Because you're worried. What are you worried about? Oh. Jack, you don't need to be worried about that. Jack's worried he's going to forget all the stories that we've been learning about and thinking about over the past few weeks. Jack, you probably actually haven't forgotten, but don't worry, because they're all in the Bible, so you can look at them any time. They are. And do you know what? I bet we've got some of the story props still in our box so we could have a look and see. Aren't we? So you don't need to be sad about forgetting things. Everybody forgets things sometimes. Should we have a look in our box and we'll see? I wonder about you, I wonder if you can remember the stories that we've been doing. You're a Jack, do you want to have a little look? Do we open it up and see what else we've got in here? Have a look. Oh, he's taking a long time, isn't he? Oh, he's having a sniff and a snuffle. Come on, Jack, hurry up. Is there anything in there? Oh, he's getting something. Let's get that out. What's he got? Oh, the cross, that's it. So what Bible story does that remind you of? Have a look, can you remember boys and girls? Oh, he says he's remembering about the story of Good Friday, about Jesus dying on the cross. That was a sad story. It didn't stay sad for long though, did it? No, it didn't. Go and have another look. See if there's anything there that'll remind you of what happened next, the next story you told. Oh, one of Jesus's friends falling over. And another one of Jesus's friends. Can you remember what the story is, Jack? That's it. Can you remember, boys and girls? After Jesus had died, he didn't stay dead. He came back to life and he met two of his friends when they were going on a journey, when they were going on a walk to a town called Emmaus. See, you do remember, don't you? That's right, you do remember. Anything else? Have a look. Oh, ooh, that's a bit heavy. Shall I help you? Oh, what's that reminding you of? I wonder what it's reminding the boys and girls of. Oh, you're struggling to remember. Have a little think. What about you? What about you, boys and girls? Can you remember what story was it that we told last week? And it was it was about or the week before. It was about it was about Jesus making Jesus meeting the disciples. Do you remember? And they had they had breakfast. On the beach, do you remember it? Ah, oh, you do remember. See, look, that's really great. That's one of the good things about the stories as well from the Bible, so we can look in our Bible as well to help us. Is that the end of the, was that the last story in the Bible? No, it definitely isn't. I'll tell you what, should we get our Bible out and then we can have a look and see what other stories there are. Let's get it out and let's sing. We're ready to sing our Bible song. Are you ready? You want to do a little dance? Okay, I suppose you can do a little dance. Are you ready? Here's the Bible, here's the Bible, a special book, a special book. What's inside it? What's inside it? Let's take a look. 
Let's take a look. Are you going to have a look? Let's have a look. Let's turn it open. It is a very big book and it's got all sorts of adventures. It's all full of all the adventures of God's people over lots and lots of years. Let's have a look and see. Where did we get up to? Oh, yes. Ah, that's where we're up to. Jesus goes to heaven. And is that the last story? It's not, look, there are lots and lots and lots of other stories still. We are getting nearer the end, though, of the Bible than we were right at the beginning. But there are still lots and lots of stories. So let's put this down here and then we can find out a little bit about what happened next. Let me put you there. Are you ready to listen? Not too sleepy. That's good. Right, you listen there. Sit down there. Are you comfortable? Are you boys and girls nice and comfortable? Have another little, little wriggle if you need to. And then settle down. You're ready to, to tell the story. So we need, I think we need Jesus, right? You can be Jesus today. And Jesus' friends. So Jesus was meeting, he'd met with his friends again before he went back to heaven after he'd risen. And he was having a chat to them. And he wanted to tell them some things that were really important. And he said to them, I really want you to remember. I want you to remember that, you know, there's not just Father God and me. There's also someone called the Holy Spirit. And when I go back to heaven, the Holy Spirit will always be with you. And he will help you to remember everything. And he'll help you to tell people all about me. Jesus's friends looked quite puzzled. Let me move these out of the way. Jesus's friends looked quite puzzled. They scratched their heads and they scratched their chins. I wonder if you can you can look puzzled where you are. Kind of scratch the, your your chin, maybe scratch your head. Who can do the best puzzled puzzled look in your household? They were feeling really puzzled. What's Jesus telling us about now? And then Jesus said to them, don't be afraid. I'm going back to heaven, but I am not going to leave you alone. They thought that sounded quite good. Well, they looked at him and they said, but, and they wondered, but who is the Holy Spirit? And Jesus didn't say any more. He just stretched out his hands like this. And he blessed them. And as he did, something rather strange happened. The disciples were there. Jesus was there. And then all of a sudden, a big cloud came down like this. And it covered Jesus over. And then as the cloud lifted, as the cloud lifted and went to their amazement, Jesus had gone. What was going on? Well, if that wasn't strange enough, suddenly they heard a voice and the voice said, Jesus has gone back to heaven. They jumped with surprise. They looked left, they looked right, they looked forward. Where, where did that voice come from? Was it you, Peter? No, it wasn't me. Was it you, John? No, it wasn't me. They were absolutely astonished. He's gone back to heaven, said the voice again. And they looked round and when they did, they saw an angel. And it was the angel that was speaking to them. He's gone back to heaven, he said. Well, they couldn't believe their eyes. And... They had a bit of a chat about it. He's gone back to heaven. The angel went off. They couldn't see Jesus anymore. And the friends, well, they felt a little bit lonely and wondered how they would manage without them. But what was the important thing that Jesus had told them just before he went? Can any of you remember what it was? Spend a moment thinking about it before Jesus went back to heaven to be with Father God. You remember 
What important thing he said to remember. I know, said one of the disciples, one of Jesus' friends, Jesus talked about the Holy Spirit. He said that when the Holy Spirit comes, he will help us. I think we should wait until he comes. And that's just what they did. They waited. And do you know what? They actually didn't have very long to wait. Right, let's put you guys over here. I've got some pictures to take out to help us to remember what we've been talking about. So these are some of your pictures, Jack. These are some of your pictures in the box. So Jack's got some pictures that help him to remember some important things. So, yeah, that's right. God is our Father and Jesus is God too. And there's the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. So... Jack's got three pictures that he uses to help him. Well, two pictures and our cross, actually. So his first picture, what's this picture, Jack? What's that one about? Ah, so his first picture is of a heart, and that reminds him of Father God's love and how much Father God loves him. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Give me yourself a little cuddle. And the next thing, well, it's not a picture, it's our cross, isn't it? So he's got the cross, and that reminds him of Jesus and all that Jesus has done. And then the third picture is a picture of a dove and that reminds him of the Holy Spirit. I'll tell you what, everybody, shall we spend a moment just looking at those three things and we could have, have a, a think about them. Hey, we've got a thinking song, don't we? We haven't done it for a long time. Shall we do it? I'll tell you what, yeah. Let's do our thinking song and then at the end of our thinking song, We'll just have a really quiet moment to think about how much God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit loves us. Should we do that? I think that's a good idea. Okay, are we ready? So it goes like this. Can you remember the action? So it points to our heads. Now we're ready for thinking time, thinking time, thinking time. Now we're ready for thinking time. What can I learn today? Oh, fantastic. Right, let's just spend a quiet moment just thinking all about how much God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit loves us. And when you finish thinking about that, just show me. Are you ready, Jack? I think Jack's still thinking. Right, everybody, if you're ready. Hey, we've got an, a really cool treat for you this morning. You know Al, our friend from church, Al, who often plays the guitar at the front of church and sings. Oh, he's, he's fantastic. He's going to do our song this morning and he's going to do a song all about how Jesus is our shepherd and how he won't leave us, how, how he loves us and cares for us. So I'm going to hand over to Al now. She might want to stand up and get ready to do it. To, to join in in this great new song. I don't think any of you will know it. I think it's a new song. So I'll see you back in a few moments. See you soon. Bye. Close to his 
his heart About a hundred, he'd leave the ninety-nine. Oh, 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 that one that she be fine. He knows my name. He calls my name. He leads me home. He carries me home upon his shoulders, safe in his arms. Into green. Well, everyone, I hope you uh, really enjoyed that song. Thank you, Al. That was really great. So, Jack, you are looking a little bit puzzled. It has to be said. What do you think? You lost a little bit puzzled. What, what's what's puzzling you, Jack? Was it something you thought about during thinking time? What was it? What's puzzling you, Jack? Ah, uh -huh. that's a good question. Jack's wondering about how do we know all of these stories? Well, they're in the Bible, Jack, and the stories that we've been thinking about, well, after Jesus died and gone back to be with Father God, his disciples who'd spent time with him, who'd seen the things that, the, that, that he had done, they wrote down the things they saw Jesus do and say. And do you know why they did it? They did it because they wanted everybody to know that the stories were true stories so that we could all believe in Jesus too. Yeah, all the stories that we've been learning about this past few weeks, true stories. And Jesus' disciples, one of them was called John. He wrote down, he wrote a whole book. And at the end, he put that, he put, he'd written them down so that everybody else would know all about all the things that Jesus said and did and that they would believe in him too. That's amazing, isn't it? It was quite a long time ago. Right, let's put you down there. And I think it's nearly time for bed, isn't it? So let me say a quick prayer for us and then you need to go off to bed, don't you? We must be tired as agreed to go to bed. Usually you have a little bit of an argument about it, but now you're feeling quite tired today. Yeah, right, well, everyone settle down. We'll just say, say a quick prayer. Get ready. Jesus, we're glad that you came and we're glad that you are in heaven with Father God. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to be with us. Amen.
And shall we say goodbye now? Not like you're ready to say, oh, oh look how tired he is. I hope you're not too tired to wave. No, you will wave, won't you? Oh, ready. Goodbye, everyone. Wave goodbye to Jack. We've had fun and he'll be back. Goodbye, everyone. Wave goodbye to Jack. We've had fun and he'll be back. Right, everybody. Goodbye and see you all again soon. Take care. God bless you. Make sure you have a really good afternoon. Go away and then you can have your sleep. Bye, everybody.